Hello everyone and welcome to 2022 in Cologne, Germany for Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling's e -Fed Women's Night Out Special number 29. Tonight we will meet some new faces that will start in RFW, including this woman from Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia, Charlie Evans. Oh yeah, she's very interesting to watch. Make sure to keep your eyes feasted on that. Because she's one of the really good women in the ring. She knows what she wants, she knows what she can do. So let's get things going then. And let's meet her opponent for tonight. Well, you know this woman, she's been in RFW in the past from London, England. It's Jenny. Jenny most likely have any advantage, she's a bit taller. Uh, to tr she's been trained by the Projo, including me now in rehab uh, noon. Um, Jimmy Havoc, former multi-time tag team champion here in RFW. Uh, and of course, Ginny brings some wrestling experience, seven years, both seven year veterans. So let's see what they've got coming in the upcoming times. Charlie Evans and Ginny will kick start the night. And I can tell you there's got to be mayhem because tonight in the main event you'll be watching the tag team champions Mercedes Ritchie and Laurie Lopez defend their titles against former singles women's champions Kaylee Ray and Santana Garrett. Evans with a huge knee strike to get things going here on this special episode. Only a one count. And that's a nasty kick right to the face. Oh, Evans with the big birds. Gotta be careful with those. Don't want to do them too much. That might result in a fine dished out by the board of directors. Get the aggressiveness you want to display, but take it easy. Ooh, good one. Right there. And that's a lovely setup up on by Charlie Evans. Rev has started the count, so they got to keep that in mind. They want to make an impact. If you tend to make this a draw, it might be forgotten. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it might make it extra more special. Who knows? Oh, Ginny now into the steel steps. Getting extreme on these women's night out special here in Cologne, Germany. We've traversed the border once again. Later this week, you'll be able to watch Fight Night again. For episode 184. And the restart of the Premier Leagues. It's going to be a fantastic week. And fantastic weeks ahead. Because what can you expect from us? You can expect the Premier Leagues to make the return. Weeks 3 to 6 in January. And we've gone to a draw. As I told you, and that means we're going to continue. Charlie Evans and Ginny went to a draw. And these two have not lost any animosity. Former tag team partners, when they went up against Mercedes Richie and Laurie Lopez, then it evolved into a backstage, uh, well, assault basically by Athena, who managed to put Christina Jean out of action. Subsequently taking their place in the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Americas and winning it. So Athena ranked number uh, 5 because of that from Athens Grace has won the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Americas. And that has garnered her a lot because what did that mean for the World Championships? Well quite a lot actually. She garnered 24 points because of it. And now there's something to be said about it. 
the way that you can think, oh well, that that might be it, but no, not at all. She's doing a fantastic job, and she wanted to continue on with that. But I doubt that the woman coming up right now is going to be happy because because of it, she lost the opportunity to compete from Beverly Hills, California, rank number eight. It's Christina Jane. Back in action here tonight, and she wants this to happen. And she wants to beat the woman and put her out of action in that backstage assault on fight night. As I was saying, Premier League this uh, January, four weeks of action. Fight at 184, 185, 186, and 187. Culminating into the death end pay per view at the end of this month. It's going to be uh, pretty unique. Christina Jane off to a good start. Doesn't result in a rope break. But don't take away from it, it's a good set of action here today. Oh, look at that, a Taylor now fighting back, trying to take over. Let's check that out. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, look, Christina J now trying to talk the arm. And by talking that arm. She's doing exactly what Atena did backstage a couple of weeks ago. So that being said, Atena really getting the gangs going. Oh yeah. Oh, stomping on that face. Oh, and on the neck area trying to really kill off that air. That's really dangerous potentially. Christina Jean looks to be out of it and this might be it. No, one count. Oh, hang on. Oh, come back from there. So don't be mistaken, RFW has got much content coming your way this month. We'll go take a look at it all because it would be fantastic. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, my goodness. And Christina didn't off to a two count. And this is it, Christina Jean gets a revenge.
And that means Christina Jean finally gets to where she wants to be. But there's still much more action to come your way. Three more matches on this great special. So don't go anywhere. If you're watching this live on Twitch or on demand, make sure to give us a follow. If you want to help us out directly, support us by donating some money because that will help us support and fund it all. Or just check out the ads, that's free, but it will also help us on our website. And we move on because there's two more coming up and one of them you'll certainly know. But the other has been featured in after view matches before. So here we go. So, what do we know from Leicester, England, Ixia, Brookside? Been trained by Dean Allmark, Rob Brookside, Robbie Dynamite. She knows what to do. So let's see if she can compete at that level that we all want to see her. But now he'll meet the woman, the former two-time. Did I say two-time? That is incorrect. The former four-time women's champion, Jazzy Garbutt. And for those wishing to know... She's held that title for 106 days total. And thus one of the great veterans here of RFW. The last one to make it across that 100 day threshold as a champion. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, no. Oh, great knee strikes there. But Cyberbrooks are is one tough cookie, as they would call it in bad dodging this translation. And Jazzy Garbado. She knows what to do. But will it be enough? That's the question. Oh, look at that. Cyrox so had from the top rope. Great body splash. Wonderful work there. Can she defeat the former four time women's champion? No, not yet. It's not over. We're still going here. And still going strong. There's the Bulldog, though. Bye, Jesse Garbutt returning to action here. In RFPW. <laughs> One, two, two. And fight backs happening now. Might also be a setback occurring. Ooh, no. Look at that. There's a slam dunk. Jesus, that's power. Brookside, Brookside kicks out. 
Something you wouldn't have expected, but it is. But look at the size difference between Brookside and Garbage. So damn. One, two. Ah, no, so close. Oh man, one, two, Trey, Jazzy Garbutt wins in the end though. That is something else. Just look at that though. He taught XI Brooks and had an opportunity to try and defeat Jazzy Garbutt. But in the end it was the four time women's champion Jazzy Garbutt who's managed to get there. That is something else. Jazzy Garbutt, great work there. But we move on, we're going to meet also a former women's champion in action here tonight. Here in Cologne, Germany, the women's night out special number 29. From Tokyo, Japan, she's a queen of combat. It's Mia Cage. Currently ranked number seven. She's the former women's champion 14 days. And she held that title. Of course, one of the latest. Between November 13 and 26th. She won it from Cindy Blake in that steel cage match. I'm sure Cindy Blake completely off her game. And had to defend against Urza Neumann. We brought the championship back to her for a current fourth reign. Let's see if Mia Cage is up to the task because she's going to have a tough one. As she will make the number two in the order merit from the Netherlands, the former seven day women's tag team champion, Rijka Karamba. So close, inching, it's very, very close now in the women's division when it comes to the order merit. Just six, uh, well, 900 fancy uh, separate the top four. But once we take a look at the women's championship standings for the world title, Rai Karamba is in third, 33 points, in Blake 30, Elzaman 37, and Kimberly Blake 76. 
going to be a long way to fall back into it with only those mere three months left to go in the season. It's got to come down to the playoffs as always, but it's going to be something else. And here we go, Cage and Karamba, Battle of the K's in the lair, surnames. Here on the Women's Night Out Special. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, such impact by Riker Karamba, what a start for her in this season. For the uh, disable there, disable, if you take a look back at all of this, in the women's championship. Beth Koshansky was the very first one followed by ODB in 2014. And there was so much that we've witnessed. Oh, look at that. Ouch. Look at the queen of combat. Going after Riker Karamba right here. Those terms of actions showcase the power that these women have. Not be being able to flip and do somersaults, but a proper combat action inside of the square circle. Ooh, man. And after, oh no, look at that. Just like a flip over with one arm. That's some sheer power. Referee started a count, one count. After this, we will witness the women's ta tag team titles on the line. Richie and Lopez defending against Kaylee Ray and Santana Garrett. And Mia Cage does take the victory. Expect it, but somehow not because Mia Cage is a little bit further down the road when you take a look at the standings. But it is excellent. Great work there. But you wouldn't have taught it until it happened. And it has now. Just look at it. Mia Cage has won. But the women's tag team titles, that's what we're going to face a focus on right now. Richie and Lopez defend their titles against Santana Garrett and Kaylee Ray. And guess what? They're going to be in the ring once we get this thing started. Let's see what that will bring. It's going to be something, that's for sure. And here we go. Damn, that's some start. Mm. 
What will you think about it? My goodness. But there's so much. Oh, hang on there. Kayla Ray, of course. Multi time women's champion, so is Santana Garrett. So, where do you go from there on out? So here we go. What are we looking forward to? Might we say new women's tag team champions or will Richie and Lopez really go at it against these all stars? It just might be. Oh, look at that. And roll through. And oh no, where we go? And bang! Definitely working hard for it. This time we might have had a brief disconnection from the servers, which can happen. But that was not due uh, to our intent. But if you're watching YouTube, you don't miss anything out because it's always on the rise. You can watch us all back. Katie right now moving insult to injury to Lori Lopez. Where do we go from here on out? Oh, look at that. Ooh. But Kayla Ray is never giving up. You know that from her longest reigning women's champion of all times. She had a title for, well, if you just count her last two raids, 692 days. Nothing more to say, nothing more to add. But it's, it's ridiculous how long she's been the champion for. That states you how good she is. And by claiming the tag team title, she's got so much more that she could do. One. Oh no. So close. So very, very close. The women's champion of 700 days. One, two. Ooh, close though. Mercedes Ritchie also former singles champion, 123 days. Santana Garrett, two times, 36 days total. If you take a look at sheer uh, accolades and pulmonaries, you have to say that Ritchie uh, and Lopez are in the disadvantage. But you know, anything can happen. 
There it is. Will she bridge into it? No, she's gone for the figure four this time. Will she's got to bridge it up? Might that be it? Is that it? No. Santana Gertz kicks right into the arm. It took two times, but it did work out. And Garrett breaks it up again in time. Lope has intervened to the double leg drop kick. Might that have saved Kay Ray's defeat? Who knows? Maybe it is enough, maybe it isn't. We'll just have to figure that out. Banger! And try and crank that up. No, is it enough? Might be, maybe it isn't. Just have to check that out. Oh! Harsh! Oof. Tag my to Santana Garrett. Oh, she smashed Laura Lopez with her head into the feet of Garrett. And leaves the opening there. Santana Garrett going for that insult. Can't dodge it. Tag of Laura Lopez. One, two, Richie breaks it up this time around. Not if Kayla Ray has a say in that, Santana Garrett might have the option to finish it off. And from there on out, create the option for women's tag team titles to come their way. And this might be it. Come on, Garrett. If you want to win it, you got to start doing it. And here we go. Laura Lopez, though, on the counter. Oh, Katie Ray breaks it up just in time. That might have been it. That came really close to comfort. Let's see what we've got here. Hoist it up. And what goes up must come down. We have learned in the past. And it goes. Snake eyes. Falls down into the corner. And there's a sheer tactics with a big breaker by Santana Garrett. Closes off the corner hermetically. Splits that ring so it takes the utmost of time before Laurie Lopez can get inside and reach to break up. A possible pinfall victory here. Tag made to Kaylee Ray. 
Super kick party. Might that have been the days to end it. And it is face first. Cover my one, two, and three. Kaylee Ray and Santana Garrett win the matchup here on Women's Night Out in Cologne, Germany. Take a look at the replay. And let's make a toast of these beautiful ladies. Combined six times singles women's champion, but now also the new tag team champions. Kenny Wright and Santana Garrett. Congratulations, commiserations to Richie and Lopez, who will be back soon. This was Women's Night Out 29. We'll be see you soon for the Premier League, for the Women's Premier League, and Fight Night. Until then, we wish you all the best and have a happy new year. Goodbye.